Hey guys, Kid Gear here, uh, Laker Coleman. Today I have a vlog video, but more of a question out to you guys, you subscribers, viewers, whatever, whoever happens to stumble upon this video, uh, and you know wants to do a video response or leave a comment, answering questions seriously. Yeah, this is just you know totally serious. I've always want, I, I mean, always. I was just wondering what you guys thought about these questions. Now this is all dealing with technology and produ productivity. Because um, recently I bought a, I went to the store yesterday, bought a DVI to VGA adapter. DVI is digital video interface, digital, digital visual interface, and VGA is video graphic array. So um, those are the ports, obviously, we, you know, monitors are into with your either with your graphics card or it's in, you may have like one port integrated in your motherboard, or maybe more depends. Um, so. You know, usually uh, older it was VGA. It's still you, you still see variations of VGA, but more LCDs now. And now we're going to DVI, and you see even HDMI. You know, with TVs, people are hooking that up, stuff like that. So you can even use your TV as a monitor. That's a totally an option, either HDMI or S video. Um, so you know, we're moving a little bit from VGA. VGA will probably still be around for a little while. They'll still have adapters. So uh, because you know, people still use CRTs. I used. I just got rid of mine. I used two. I mean, I got rid of mine like a month ago. I may not a month ago, but I don't know how long. But two. Uh, I still use VGA, but um, and I also switched over to an. I didn't switch over. Actually, I got a card that was cheap, ten bucks. I came out of the machine. I bought the machine for ten bucks, and uh, I had Nvidia and ha it had an Nvidia GeForce 5200. Sorry, I'm stuttering. Um, and that's a GP 8x slot card, and it came with a DVI, VGA, and an S video port for TV out. So I hooked up dual monitors to my desktop. Finally, loving it. Um, and I want to ask you guys a question, but first off, let me give you the questions, and then I'll answer them. Uh, this is dealing with not only dual monitors, but you'll see along the way. So anyway, productivity. Obviously, two monitors they have proven, or not, you know, they took in studies. Two monitors are better than one. And uh, you, I think, as a university in Utah took a study that when they took bigger monitors, people using like, I think they took two people using two 20 inches, a person using 18 inch, and a person using a 24. The bigger the monitor, the more productivity you're going to get done because you have more room to do stuff. And you know, this is like people like who do spreadsheets or like, you know, they have spreadsheets and you know, they have to switch to get numbers. You know, with bigger monitors, you can split it in half easier. You know, I think the person with the bigger monitor got 52% faster. 44% faster for dual monitors. So if you have a bigger monitor per se, you're going to get more done. But if you have bigger monitors plus, you know, dual monitors, like they have instead of having a 60 inch, which is huge, you know, it's so huge. Uh, if you had two 30s, you would probably get more done because you have. Uh, it it just looks nicer two 30s compared to 160. But some people may like the 160. Um, you know, you just get more work done, especially if you have them separated, because you can separate your work one on one thirty and put your other on one thirty, another thirty. But you know, web designers for debugging stuff like that, uh, Photoshop stuff like that that uses multiple windows and/or you know pal palettes stuff like that, really increases your workflow with dual monitors or bigger monitors. So um, that's something to look at. Um, so bigger, but. Bigger is better, obviously, but also m more is also better. So dual monitors is great. I used, I think, a seven, this is 17 and a 15, or maybe they're actually both 17. One's just widescreen. Uh, so the questions I was getting at, uh, what I was wondering, because I use dual monitors now, like I said, and what do I put on, what do you guys put on your multiple monitors? And I'm going to answer what I put. Because I, I just want more on this one. I mean, I have a lot. I mean, I've not even a lot. I only have like two things, three things that run on this one when I'm doing my main work on my main monitor, uh, my, what I call my primary. So on my primary, I'm usually browsing, uh, either you know recording a video and have notes. That's the main things I'll do. Mainly it's browsing, because everything's in Firefox, tab browsing. Um, on the other monitor now, I put Skype, my like, whole list to see who's on. Uh, when I'm in a call or chats, I separate them. Uh, with also, there's also, um, what do you call that? Put, I put my mail, Thunderbird, over there so I know once I get a new message. And it's just all easily integrated and, you know, I don't, like, make a maximize. Either I layer them over each other or, I, you know, shrink them down, even minimize them sometimes. Um, but there's cool programs like there's Ultramon. That costs money. 
you can look into that if you really want to. There's another one free. I forgot what it's called. I'll have to look up in it. I'll put the link in the video description once I find it. It expands your taskbar across for XP. I think it's free too. It's from Lifehacker. It's an alternative to Ultramon. So I'll give you the link to that. And it, it's really great because you can minimize it to the other monitor. So it's just plenty helpful. Uh, other applications like Display Fusion, which uh, make your you know wallpaper. You can set that so it expands. So like I said, I put a lot of stuff in my dual monitors. That meaning Skype email, and twirl. twirl the, those are three things. But I want to know what you guys who use multiple monitors, two or even more, put on your second monitor, third monitor, whatever, just so I, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of ideas on what to put. I really don't know. Um, so uh, that's the first question. Second, like what applications, like I use Display Fusion, and I'm going to get that, uh, not the Ultramon, but the other one that expands the thing across. What other cool uh, dual monitor programs are there? Not dual. Uh, now here's an application that I have a video coming up on. It's not for say for dual monitors, but you can make it share your keyboard and mouse between two different computers or even three different computers or even more. It's called Synergy. Um, it's really really great, and you can basically switch over just via network. It's really great. Synergy. I'll, I have a video coming up on that. So there's your question, guys, for monitors anyway. What do you put on your mo dual, on your multiple monitors? Uh, what applications you use for dual monitors, like whether it be Display Fusion or whatever. Um, so those are two main questions for monitors. Now, guys, productivity and technology is really important. I mean, it's really, really great. Uh, recently, like here's the thing. Now I talked about the study. Now, uh, me and a couple friends that would be Mobile Phone 2003, Wii 493, and I think it was saving for MacBook. We were all on Skype, and we all decided to take a typing test against each other. So we all went on TypingTest.com. And after we took it, we there was a little thing that said, how many hours do you go on your computer daily? Now, the max was five that you can put. I'm probably on like seven, six, you know, it depends on, you know, what day it is from out or from, you know, in all day. It depends. Usually, you know, I'll, I'll step out to hang out with friends for like four, three hours or so. It depends, like I said. So uh, I put five hours because that's the max. And if you can type 60 words per minute, five hours... That will save you if you're five, if you're on the internet for five hours, or you know just doing anything in general. That will save you one hour a day, five hours a week, and eleven days a year. Now I know that eleven days, that's just from typing, guys. You're saving eleven whole days a year if you can type more than sixty words per minute. Now you know some of you don't care, some of you think you know. I thought that was pretty cool. So um, yeah, guys, that's just you know productivity helps a lot in technology. I just thought I would you know. Uh, I type around 56, 54. Now, maybe not with total accuracy. I have more better accuracy. If I'm like getting perfect accuracy, I'm more in the 50, 49 range. I'm, I'm working on 60. So, what's your guys' word per minute? So, that's those are the three questions for this video, guys. What do you guys put on your multiple monitors? Any applications you use for your multiple monitors to do, you know, any extra things? And what's your word per minute? What's your word per minute ratio when typing? I type around, at the most, maybe I can get like 56, 57. Uh, if I'm like, you know, going great at it. Um, so yeah, guys, sorry. I know, kind of long video, a lot of explanations going. And everybody was asking how to set up dual monitors. I've done previous videos. Basically, it's really easy. Either if you don't have an extra port, you may want to get a graphics card. You have to find out if it's you know, what slot you have, HP 8X, that's an older one, there's PCI now. Um, you can get adapters, of course, like I said, if you have two ports and you don't, if you have a DVI, you need VGA, get an adapter. And there's USB to VGA or USB to DVI also, things you plug into USB and then you can plug in a monitor to that. So, a lot of ways to get dual monitors, guys. Very, very easy and helps amazingly. So, yeah, guys, um, love to see your video responses, text, comments, or email me, adrianstech at gmail.com. I rambled on a lot on this one, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to talk a lot about technology and productivity because I've been getting emails about dual monitors and all this stuff, so I thought I'd address it all in one video. Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. See you later.